today I have some beautiful photos that I took in Switzerland and I'm going to be editing them in Lightroom. So join me today while I do that and then we can talk about stuff. Also, I would love to thank the sponsor for today's video, Squarespace. Today I literally have a list of notes that I want to talk about. My first thing, you guys, I actually wrote this down. I was like, four photographers flopping. Okay, let's talk, let's talk about that. But before I do, I'm in Lightroom. So we shot here, we were literally just walking around and then I, whenever you see a bunch of tourists somewhere, you're like, yeah, this is the photo spot. So we saw a bunch of people taking pictures and I'm like, let's go. So I busted out the DSLR, started taking pictures. We actually got really lucky because the sun, as you can see right here, was like, it was slowly setting, but it was like shining through. It was so beautiful. We had some nice light. I really wanted to get in here, but you guys, look at how many people, it was going to be impossible. So we found this little section where there weren't many people. Let me give you guys the stats on this. ISO was 125. I shot it at 24 millimeter, millimeters, millimeter. <laughs> F-stop was 4.5. And I took it at one four hundredth of a second. And this was with my 24 to 70 lens on my Canon 5D Mark IV. So let's begin. Let's like bump up the shadows, right? Is that what people do on Lightroom? Just go. I'm like, as if I don't even use Lightroom. Like I use Lightroom. I need to chill. I'm on here. I open this like every day. I'm like, is this what people, I'm not familiar with this program. I love Lightroom. I don't use it as much as I use Photoshop. Ooh, I love clarity added to this. This is looking great already. Here, let me collapse that. There we go. And we were doing a Polaroid challenge, you guys. I swear to God. The, I have a million videos from all of this year. <laughs> you guys are going to see videos from like 15 years ago come up in November. Oh, hey guys, welcome to my channel. Like, but it's like from 2003. It's just because I bulk film. So when I was in Switzerland, we recorded, I don't know, like eight videos maybe. But I have to, I'm editing all of my own videos right now and always have been. So you can imagine it takes a very long time to edit the videos and edit the, and also as photographers, we're editing pictures in the videos, at least in, yeah, in the photography lifestyle you know you took the pictures for the behind the scenes so now you gotta add them but you have to retouch them before you put them in the video so now you're doing twice the work so i'm trying i'm trying oh we're on tone curve right now by the way so let's let's add a bit of blue to this or maybe like yellow we want the warm tone because the sun is setting so we kind of want it to match right so photographer for photographers let's talk about it the, listen, it's no secret that the series isn't doing as great as it used to. And for those who aren't really familiar, I have, it's my favorite series that I have on my channel. It's four photographers shoot the same model. When it first came out, it went viral and it was it millions and millions of views, not millions and mil millions, but like, okay, one, two million views. And they used to be my favorite series and still are my favorite series to film. But j just, I think it was, I think it was after COVID and then... Just I up, uploaded the very the the newest one recently, and it just didn't do well at all. I was like, I guess I don't get my hopes up about any videos, but that one I kind of expected to do good. I was like, okay, no, it's four photographers. People love the series. People ask me to do it all the time, and it just didn't do well at all. And I was kind of it was kind of sad. I'm like, no, I really wanted to do more of this series. Uh, it did pick up like the the the. The one that I uploaded, I, I don't even, earlier in the year, it picked up eventually after a few months. And then kind of, it like, it's at like 500,000 views or 400,000, which is still a lot, which is still a lot. But compared, what I'm saying is like compared to what it usually gets, it's really not a lot. But anyways, I was like, you know what? That's okay. I, I uploaded the other, another one and that one just did not do well. It was... Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be putting a lot more time because those those videos take so long to plan and to organize. I mean, I have to coordinate with like 15 people. I'm like constantly texting people. Okay, are you good for this time? Are you good? Is this good? And then 
we had to like fly a model out for the other one and but we had the most amazing video team in Detroit. Oh my god, there's there's so much fun to work with. Great, great team. We had a lot of fun that day. So we'll see what happens. My my friend, I was FaceTiming her and I was telling her about the four photographers because she saw an Instagram post and she's like she saw an Instagram post that I that I wrote about maybe not continuing with four photographers. Like as of now, I don't really have many plans to make a new one. And she's like, no, I love it. You need to keep going. It doesn't matter about the views. And she's right. She really is right. It isn't about the views. But that the thing is that it I have to have like two videographers for that. And you have to it's just a lot of money, I think. So I'm just trying to see what I can do, how I can move forward with the series. Yeah, but it, you know, that happens on YouTube. Sometimes things that were once popular on your channel lo no longer are, and you just have to think of new ideas. So I'm trying to kind of branch out. I love doing the reaction stuff. And also, back to Lightroom, I'm trying to see, well, I kind of like the green, the green tone. I kind of like that, actually. Let's see, let me like go back to, back to this layer. RGB. I always, by the way, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say this. I am terrified and nervous putting out technical content on my YouTube channel. I'm, I'm terrified. It's the, just, I think it's just the photography community that just makes it so scary. They get people, I mean, as they should take it seriously. But there comes a point where you, I just get, I'm just like, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the, this acronym because I might say it wrong like someone got mad at me one time because I said aperture instead of f-stop I'm like I'm sorry I don't I mean isn't it the same thing <laughs> I but yeah so it it's gotten to the point where some I'm just like I don't want to make anything technical because I'm not a technical photographer but I do feel like it's important to know it you should know how your gear works you should know what ISO is, what shutter speed is, how your f-stop works. You don't, you don't need to know like, okay, the technical term and the full de definition, but at least know what they do, in my opinion. It doesn't have, you don't have to do like a pop quiz. Like, okay, you can't start photography until you take the pop quiz. And so I just get, I get scared. I uploaded the DSLR versus mirrorless. I sent it to my friend. My friend Miguel, because he, he's like a Sony ambassador, so I know he knows about cameras, and he was like, okay, you need to do this, you need to add this, because someone really technical might get on you about that. And I'm like, okay, okay, so I made the changes. <laughs> Still, of course, I got the comments that, oh, this is not right. It's, it's fine. I'm not going to be perfect, and I tried my best to kind of just add in my own experiences. You guys. It's it's tough in the photography community. I'm scared. I'm just like I'm terrified. And that's that's just me. And some people are really good at the technical reviews, the gear reviews. I am not. And I'm more focused on the end result. Okay, I feel like I've spent a good amount of time on this photo. Shall we move on? Let me like bump up the contrast here just a little bit. So there we go for this one. Okay, I want to get crazier for the next ones. <laughs> Let's like go all out, right? I like barely did anything. I like just brighten the colors. You guys, shout out to Lovis. She literally will pose anywhere. There's like a group of tourists all behind her. She's like just out here posing. I'm like, I could never, I don't have the confidence. <laughs> I don't have the confidence. Also, let me tell you guys about the location in these photos. So like this one, wait, let me show you guys a picture that shows the, the scene. Hold on, let me like increase the rating for the pictures I really like. So like this, I think it's a school. If you're, if you live in Zurich, you can correct me here. So they have this like lily pond. It's, it was gorgeous. I, I didn't even know if I was allowed to shoot here. Actually, I was so nervous. So I shot here super, super quickly. This, look at this location. It, I was like, this is gorgeous. And you know, in America, something like this, you know you can't take pictures here. Like they, they will get the police. 
you'll be in cuffs in the back of a police car in the back seat. So there was no one there. We took pictures. We were really quiet and no one said anything. I'm like, there's no police. No one's going to come. I feel like I should walk to the police station. It, it's just so interesting how in other countries, like I know when I was in Denmark, they're like, you can shoot anywhere. As long as it's public, they can't say, they won't say anything. I'm like, wait, are you serious? Like I can shoot at this castle and no one's going to say anything. So yeah, this is like the location that we chose. Here are some photos. Let me pick one and we'll get to it. Maybe we'll do this one. Let's, let's edit this one. The light was coming in too. See that soft, like the soft sunlight. It was like peeking through for some of the shots. And again, I was super nervous in, in this moment because I'm like, I don't want to get kicked out. This is such a nice place. So I'm trying to take pictures as fast as possible. So I was a little crazy with the angles there. I think I should have focused a bit more. But sometimes when you're taking pictures, it's it's hard to focus because you're thinking you, you don't want to get in trouble. And that's just something with about something about me. Just there's some photographers who will climb over fences, who will who don't care if they get kicked out. They're like, I don't let's just go go inside here. I'm like, uh, let's not risk it. So that's the kind of person I am in terms of photography. So I added a bit of blue primary at the bottom here. And then we have that. Let's toggle the red. Ooh, we get like, is that, isn't it the same as what it was before? It kind of is. It kind of is. Are we like bumping? Let's bump up the colors in this one a bit. Let's get crazy. And then let's switch up the hue of the greens or maybe saturation. Okay, wow, what is happening? You guys, I definitely need a new computer because this computer I've had for so long and it's just, it's taken forever. I love it. I've had it for like 15,000 years, but it's time to upgrade. And thank God they added the USB ports. That's why I didn't get the newest MacBook because they're like, we got rid of all the USB ports. I'm like, that's what I need. I need the USB ports for my hard drives. So I, I kind of didn't upgrade because of that. And I don't upgrade right away. Like some people will buy the newest thing and I'm like, nope. Like I recently upgraded my iPhone. I think it was a 7 to the 12 after however many years. Should I just bump up the shadows? Is that all I'm doing for every picture? I'm like shadows plus 100. <laughs> okay, so I do like to bump up the vibrance. Ooh, I love this already. So I feel like I want to go back to the blue section on the tone curve and add in, I like the warm tones. Definitely love the warm tones. Yes, that's pretty. Okay, I like that. But because my computer is going at dinosaur speed, like not trying to do your thing. I, I still love you, but at the same time, you're embarrassing me on camera. <laughs> you're you're pro not processing fast enough. Ooh, yes. Okay. Oh, I love this. Okay. Yes. Should I like bump up the orange more? No. Oh, no. Okay. That's not going to work. Okay. And then maybe luminance, we can do, we can do this. Bring down the reds. And sometimes doing editing tutorials too. I prefer to just talk about whatever. I mean, obviously like I'll, I'll talk about the editing and what I do, but it's also sometimes boring to just focus like, okay, now saturation, I'm gonna plus a hundred. So these videos I feel like are just more laid back, more casual, where I have a bit more freedom to talk about it'll still kind of be photography related for the most part but maybe not specifically like on this picture okay so what do you guys think I actually kind of like it but I do want to I do want to bump up the clarity the clarity is my favorite right now look at that love okay so I'm gonna edit this photo now 
And we, again, we had that sun peeking through. It was so beautiful. So I don't know if I want to like decrease the contrast. Something like this, this already looks so pretty, just decreasing the contrast all the way down. And then maybe bumping up the blacks so it's even like softer. Look at that, it changed up the whole mood. It was like naturally contrasted and then, then now it's a lot softer. And then you know what I'll do? Maybe I will bump, like add in the contrast, wait, on the tone curve and we'll see what happens. Let's see the difference because remember I pulled, I decreased the contrast and then I added contrast in the tone curve. So let's see how this looks. Okay, so it just looks like a softer contrast. I think I just, I just undid something only to just add it back on. I don't know. There's, I just, I just experiment here. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Wow. I can like deepen up the darkest parts of the photo by doing that. I kind of like it like that. And then you know what I'm also going to do? Decrease the saturation. Kind of like this. Yes. Okay, I love that. And then luminance, let's decrease, let's do maybe the yellows, no, maybe reds, does that even make a difference? Okay, actually it does. This is how I kind of learned to use each thing, I just kind of went back and forth with, with each thing. I've been using Photoshop since I don't know again I was like 12 13 actually to be technical about like if I'm really going to be correct about it it was paint shop pro which was like an like another version of photoshop like a cheaper version because I couldn't afford photoshop so my dad actually bought me paint shop pro he like brought it I think I still have the box and the cd I'm pretty sure I have it somewhere but it was a box it's a Jask Paint Shop Pro. It was like an editing program. And I, I, yeah, I was like 13 or 14 at the time. Or uh, yeah, it was, it was like Christmas morning. I was so happy because everyone on Neopets, the website that I was on, was using an editing program to make layouts and everything. And I, I wanted to learn how to make. I remember I just wanted to learn how to make a logo like a JPEG logo. I saw the the little, you know, those little just squares. Anyone who played Neopets will know what I'm talking about. Like in every guild, like club, they have a logo. That was what I was concerned about. I'm like, I, I want to make uh, JPEGs and GIFs today. We were trying to save them in the right extension. <laughs> so eventually I just self-taught everything. Self-taught. I was, I was obsessed. I was literally obsessed with editing programs and designing but I was never unfortunately I was just never good enough there was always someone in my school because I eventually went to college for graphic design also now we're at calibration and I'm bumping up the saturation of the red primary I don't know if that's too much what do you guys think maybe like it could be more of a yellow tone or a red tone maybe that I think I'm just going to have to decrease. Am I going to have to decrease the saturation again? Let's see. Because sometimes all you'll be missing is just to decrease the saturation of the image when you're, when you're done editing. Oh, maybe something like this. That's nice. Okay, I like this. It has those yellow tones, the soft tones. But let's go back to... Do we do saturate? Do we decrease the saturation just for the orange? Let's see maybe or do we do the whole image so we're in the luminance tab and I can make it a bit more contrasted but I kind of prefer mm, do we just keep it like as is and add maybe we'll just decrease the exposure so that it's more dude I'm not even gonna pretend to know what the, what the term is <laughs> You know those people who just know all the right things to say when they're editing? Yes, you know, it's very dynamic and it's very whatever. Like, 
I don't know. It just looks nice. It looks, it looks great. I always was like, I need to be like this. I need to be this kind of photographer. I need to be more professional. I need to be like, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to be myself. I don't care what other people are doing. I'm just going to like, okay, yeah, my jokes, they're not funny most of the time. You know what? I'm still going to, that's just who I am. I can't not be who I am to try to be what people expect me to be as a photographer. So we can either keep it, oh, I like this. It was the yellows, guys, all along. We're in the hue section. Look at this. We can do like more like Thanksgiving vibes, <laughs> Thanksgiving tones, or we could do festival. I don't know. Festival tones. This is really pretty. Which one? So we could do vote in the comments, Thanksgiving or a forest. I kind of like the forest vibes. Like the tone of the greens is really pretty. That's it. Okay, let's move on. We got this one. We did it, guys. We did it. Oh, wait, no. Let me just enable profile corrections. There we go. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Okay, let me, you guys, I got to add some clarity. You guys know me. <laughs> okay, look how pretty that looks. Okay, if I wanted to also, I can change up the hue of the greens. And you see in the background right here? We could do that, but... I like it. I kind of like it like that. I like that it pops out. Okay, but maybe... Okay, I'll decrease saturation just a little bit. Okay, maybe I like overdid it just a little bit. Let's see. Does it even make it... Is it even doing anything? Sometimes it's the yellows. Okay, yeah, it's the yellows. Okay, so we're doing just this. This is good. Or maybe it's too much. Okay, just roast me in the comments about that. <laughs> I'll read them after this. <laughs> Before we get into the next edit, I wanted to thank the sponsor for today's video, Squarespace. I've been using their platform for so many years. My portfolio is on there, my online store, my contact page, literally everything is on Squarespace. I absolutely love this platform. It's an all-in-one platform where you can build your brand online, your business, you can sell merch, you can do so many things using Squarespace. The, the best part is it's easy to use. So it's, it's amazing for me to be able to recommend it to my friends because I know that they won't have any problems using it. Like a lot of my friends will be like, I wanna make a website, for, I wanna start this business. I, well, Jessica, what do I do? I don't know where, I don't know anyone who can make me a website. I'm like, you can literally make your own website. Here, go to Squarespace. It's super simple to use. They have designer templates. You can preview the, preview the templates before it even goes live on your website. It's drag and drop. So you don't need to be a pro to be able to use it or to make a beautiful website. They have so many amazing features. They have image galleries, they have carousels, that you can embed videos and songs and you can sell merch on there. Anyone can use this website. It's all in one and they do have 24 hour customer support. So if you ever have any issues, there's always someone to help you. So definitely something I recommend to my friends. So I would 100% recommend it to you guys. Again, if you're looking to build your business online or brand, Squarespace, you guys. What I love is you can actually start a free trial and see how everything's gonna look before you commit to anything. So you can do that by heading to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica. Use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All the information will be in the description. So thank you, Squarespace. I love you guys. I love your platform. And let's get into the next edit, shall we? <laughs> I wanna just go back in time and then photograph here again. You know when you look at pictures that you took at a certain location and you're like, damn, I wish I would've done this, this, this. I, that happens to me quite often. Like this, I would've, I wish we could've done like a pose where it's just more, like her arms are up more. But again, I was scared of being arrested. That's the American in me. I'm like, let's not go to prison for this. It's not worth it. Okay, this is cute, right? What, what should we do? This one? I, look, I love how I'm like, which one? You guys help me. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's do this one. And let's collapse it. This will be the last one. You guys, you already know. Bump the shadows. Bump it. Okay, let's try to see if we can bring back some of the sky in the background. Wow, yes. 
that dynamic range. Wow. Incredible. Get like the worst settings possible. It's okay. Dynamic range. <laughs> I don't have to use the right settings. Why would I? My camera, my camera will do everything for me. <laughs> okay. And are we decreasing the contrast also? We might be. Wow. Amazing. I mean, I don't want to brag or anything. <laughs> you guys, I literally like adjusted three sliders. I'm like, my work here is done. This is why I'm a professional. <laughs> this is why I'm a professional. Okay. Now we're going to try to mix things up with this one for real. I know I said that for the last ones. I'm like, I'm going to get crazy. I like barely did anything. But let's do... Let's do some greens, right? I don't know. And I'm trying to see what colors I can add before I make this look ugly. <laughs> the, the colors before I ruin the picture. So maybe more yellows. See, because then I, I think I start to overdo it. So let's just go easy on the tone curve right now. I think it's the green. You guys, it's the greens. We're not trying to do that so quick. Okay, you know what? Let's. Let's go down to the highlights. More yellow. Love those yellow tones. And then we can add a bit more. Hmm. I don't know. I think it just needs, we need to just adjust the tones a, a little bit. Wow. Okay, something like this. Okay, that's pretty. I'm like, hyping, I'm like hyping myself up. <laughs> is that weird? Like, should I be confident? Hmm, this is going to be a tricky one. Okay, yes, that's, that's nice. It just, I think it's going to take some sliding. Get it? The sliders? Going to be sliding around. Going to slide all, all over Lightroom. So, hmm. Oh, okay, this is nice. You know what also... Let's decrease the saturation for the entire photo. Maybe that usually helps, honestly. Because sometimes there's just, you know, when there's just too much color, like that. And then let's go to the tone curve and brighten it up just a bit. Did I just make it worse? I don't know. Yes. Okay. This is, okay. Perfect. This is looking great. By the way, I've been watching a YouTuber. His name is Corey, and he's a gamer. I watched him play Poppy's Playtime because here's the thing with me. I think scary games are really interesting, but I'm too scared to actually play them. Like, I won't play scary games. I won't watch scary movies, but I can watch other people either explaining them or playing them. You guys, his Poppy's Playtime thing was so funny. Of course, like, I got... The jump scare got me for sure. I was like, what? but it was so funny to watch him play it. So I love, I love watching scary game, like scary um, playthroughs, like people playing it. My favorite thing ever. So definitely check out his channel. I think he's also from Detroit. I heard him say 313. And he was wearing a Detroit hat. I'm from Detroit too. I'm just saying. <laughs> but anyways, I just love his, he's so funny. He's hilarious. Well, you should watch the Pop Poppy's Playtime playthrough. It's so funny. It's so good. I'm, like, waiting for him to upload, like, the second part so I can watch it. Okay. So this is, I think, going to be the final. Hmm. I feel like I could do more, but what else is there? <laughs> what else is there to add, really, other than just that? If I were in Photoshop, you know there's going to be, like, 20,000 layers, like, 200 layers. The, the program crashes. It's like, this is too... Jessica, we don't have space on the computer for this. Yeah, okay. So I think increasing the black so that it's less... I think it's just... The, maybe it's just the contrast. There we go. Yes. Okay, so it was the contrast. So decreasing the contrast just because... I, I feel like there's a lot of things going on in the background and I don't want it to be so contrasted. We still want to see the little details, but I think the, I think it just like softens it up. So there we have it. The blue, I wish I could. So this is going to be the final photo that's before. That's after. Yes. It was so fun to edit these in Lightroom.
I think I'm gonna start doing this in Lightroom because it, it's just a lot more fun. It's like a bit more flexible. With Photoshop, I feel like it's more serious. So anyways, let me know what you guys think of the final photos. And if you guys wanna see another retouch and chill, thank you guys so much for listening, for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one.